How are we all doing this morning? I hope I'm in normal video. Let's check. Yes, I'm in normal video. Now, I'm at home and I've got two little puppies with me. So I've got Leroy, he is sat in my lap. Can you say hi? It's been a while since you've been on this channel. Hey. Oh, oh, we're moving. Oh, and I zoomed in. If anyone wants to see that little, that little nose. Let's zoom back out, hey? You're such a handsome boy. You wanted to sit in my lap. Mm. Yeah. And then over here, I got little Miss Millie. You're all wrapped up, aren't you? How can I show you your face? Oh. It's just me at home on a Saturday. Last night, um, my boyfriend David came over and he stayed down here. Um, we went to the Alba Thermal Hot Springs, right near the Peninsula Hot Springs, and he's petting in here. Oh, he likes that. He likes it. Um, so that was really nice. I didn't film too much because the sun went down so fast and it was really dark, so I can't really show you much other than what was on my. Uh, Instagram story so definitely go check that out um, and yeah I've just spent the morning chilling with him and now I uh, have been fixing my camera because it didn't like anything and I want to show you a new package I've received which is the, the Dyson air wrap which I'm so excited to which I will show you in a second because I'm just probably gonna have to kick this puppy off me but he's so cute alrighty I've got the puppies behind me are you excited? They're like, why is there so much talking? Lero, if you sit on me while I'm trying to do this, I'm not going to be happy with you. <laughs> He's like, but please, you have a dressing gown on and you look comfy. You, you're literally eyeing me off. No. So, here it is. Thank you. Here it is! Alright, you can sit in my lap while I film, but I will be holding it. Look at this. I need to film. I want to show them the Dyson Air Wrap that I just got. The limited edition Mother's Day pink ceramic and rose gold. Oh. So here it is. Ignoring the dog. Do it yourself. Good boy. Here it is. I'm so excited. I have not opened it. I've only taken it out of the delivery box uh, that it puts in for Australia Post. But this is it. Oh my God. So the reasoning behind why I wanted to get it, I always thought about getting one. I've been told that my hair would hold it pretty well because my hair is quite thick and it holds curls very well. And um, I've just been told that, like, yeah, by hairdressers, they're like, oh, that's a good investment for you. Like, that would work. And then when I saw this one, if you've saw, seen my new Instagram page, you would have seen that I was so excited by this and was even, like, messaging Dyson being like, when's it coming to Australia? Because it only came out in England. Oh, I better make sure I don't hit you, hey. Um, and they're like, just wait, it'll come out. And I watch our stories, watch our, um, what, what is it called? Watch our um, website. And as soon as it popped up, I immediately got it because they're like it's a limited edition and I loved this color I do not like any of the other colors really so it is quite heavy but that is the box on the outside so let's open this I think I'm gonna have to move back a little bit I also got uh, a um what's it called okay now you may sit No, you love me. Your tail's like the wrong way. I feel like that's uncomfortable. Okay, I do not have scissors, but we're dealing without. So, Are you excited? I'm excited. I mean, this box is gonna rip, isn't it? Oh. 
so yeah I really want you guys to know I'm really on that hair care journey era come on and I really want to make my hair the best it can be I've got a few products that I'm really excited to show you that I'm currently trialing oh 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 Ooh, what's in here you want to just sniff it you can already see the color so let's get it out oh it's quite heavy I think I've already said that but it is oh this is nice oh wait oh it's got LR on it I asked for my initials I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got LR for Lauren Renee. That is the exterior. It's got Dyson written, written up the top there. I'll probably film this like up closer because I cannot show them any closer. Because someone is so cuddly. But yes, oh, it's, it's heavy. Like, you do not want to be lifting this all the time. Like, you want it like in the bathroom and just to like use it and put it back into its box without having to move the box. Okay, shall we open it up? <gasps> oh, it's got foam underneath. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. That just slides around on top. Good to know. But, ooh, Leroy, I, I just cannot show them properly without this. I'm going to go get you a blanket that you can snuggle and sit on, okay? Because you can't sit on me. This is too important. I need to show them. Here we go. Oh, my God. So obviously, yeah, that is the top lid with the Dyson at the top there. And it's got this beautiful pink around the sides. I chose, obviously, again, I chose this color because I didn't like the other colors. It's got some foam up the top here. It's got this, like, cardboard underneath. Oh, that's got a bit of, like, this is how you use it. Underneath there. So different ways that you can use it. Oh, so I'm guessing you don't need the foam all the time scan to unlock your exclusive benefits so different ways you can like use that and teaches you how to actually use the air wrap so we are going to be doing it that today learning but everything that came with it oh, feels really nice so here's a better close-up view with the LR that I got it's actually got a very soft bottom as well beautiful velvet like kind of lining okay and of the attachments this is the first attachment. It's got the beautiful rose gold, the different knobs up the top. That, this one, I actually need like a list. This is the smoothing attachment. I have to read up this. So that is the smoothing. I, hopefully we're not using that today. That's not the plan. So then we've got this attachment, oh, which has got some card on it. Let me get that off. And that. So this one, which is this, it's got the beautiful pink. It's also got the pink on the bristles. Oh, it moves. That's kind of cool. So see there, this moves like that. That is that, the beautiful pink. And it's got the dice in there as well. All the details. He's got himself all wrapped up and comfy over there. So this one is the shaping and a smoothing brush. So the other was a smoothing dryer. This is a smoothing and shaping brush. I think this is what you use more for like drying your hair. The other rough dry and stuff. Yeah. Then we've got, oh, another version of that. So we should have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six attachments. So smoothing. This one, we've got another one here, which is, I think, yeah, it's another version of the smoothing, but this has just got normal. This is the same thing, is it not? It's the same thing, but with different bristles. So you've got this one, which I've just pulled out now. So it's pretty much the same thing as this one. So that's them side by side. So you can see the different bristles on those. But they're yeah, just beautiful pale pink. 
I'm going to get to the actual bit last. I want to look at the at other attachments. So oh, this is, that's those. That's the, um, the curlers. But I'll, I want to see this one first. We've got, this is kind of the brush one attachment. So what are people, do you guys, if you already have a Dyson, do you keep all these to like organize it? Or do you let them loose in there? But that is the next brush. See with the gorgeous rose gold on the top. With those bristles, all the filtration in the inside. But that's that one. So this, it doesn't actually show me. Is there another layer to what I can use all this? No? Okay. But this, that's just another bristle one brush. And then it is these, which you must have to take. They don't organize it very well. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit confusing. Ah, oh, that, that's built in. So then we've got the different curling one attachments. So just want you to have a look at that one there. And these are good because they're two different ones, which I think is different to the OG Dyson, where you had to have different one, different attachments for different uh, curls for like different ways they're curling. But this attachment's good because you just flick this knob I was looking up and you just do that. You change like there, up the top there, and it just flicks between the different way the air is wrapping your hair. So that looks like it's the smaller one maybe. But let's compare to the other one, which is a 30 mil and a 40 mil I got. I'm having to like duck to be in the camera. Yeah, that's I reckon the 40 mil and this is the third. Is it 30 and 40? They look quite different. Wow. Look at those. And look at the size difference. That's insane. That is insane. And I must say, this is a different like top to this top. You can see the color difference. This is way more rose gold. This is more purpley. Interesting that I got a really purple color for those. They look purple on that, so yeah. So that is the three brushes, one smoothing tool, and the two curlers. So that is, oh, I'm not gonna be able to hold all of these in my hands, but that's almost the juice plus the smoothing tool. So that's all those. Let's pop these inside the lid here. Because I do not want to mess them up. And now is the actual Dyson itself. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's got like a segmented area. Wow. Urgh. Interesting. Oh, so it sits on top there. Oh, nice. I'll show you that in a minute, but this is it. Oop, let me get rid of this box. It's getting in my way. Ugh. So here it is. It's got a current uh, film on it. It's got the cable all in there. Shall we, shall I open this with you? Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. Ooh. Look at that colour. Look at it. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. There we have it. This is the Dyson. Beautiful. Yeah, there's the purpley details with the rose gold locking mechanism up the top. And then the different air fresh air like speeds different temperatures there and the on and off button you can see all there so i guess probably a deeper look into why i wanted it i think i mentioned this earlier that definitely going more into hair care this was something that i wanted previously we didn't like the colors so it was just i'm just wanting the best for my hair and i want to be able to do a blowout more easily I struggle with a hairdryer especially because my hair is so thick and this is kind of just like a fun addition very very expensive I very much understand that incredibly expensive but you know you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to have all those if you want to have it you gotta 
pay the money and you, I could have gotten a cheaper different version of it but I really liked this pink color and it feels nice and like weighted so that it feels like yeah like I've definitely bought something that's um had some thought go into it oh that's the filter I'm pretty sure you should be able to take that I should be able to take that off I'm not going to try and prize it right now because I want to probably look up how to do that so that is it oh my god I reckon I'm going to go wash my hair and then we can trial it together for the first time which will be so exciting okay so we've washed our hair I'm going to take oh, that out had it in a microfiber towel use just my normal shampoo and condition nothing crazy I'm going to take the towels off because the green is annoying me in this video and the, these colors I know myself and I'm so particular about how it all looks and obviously like I'm at my parents' house and they have their own towels and I like white towels. That is so, so picky Lauren. I'm gonna grab my hair brush quickly. So, are you coming in? No? I wanna close the door because it's gonna be loud, potentially. I actually don't know. I've never really heard how loud a Dyson air wrap is, but I'm gonna brush my hair, pop some heat protectors in. I need to get a new one because I recently got my hair cut, if you can't tell. I didn't do a video on that because it was the first time I was going to this hairdresser. And she was really nice. We cut a little bit off the ends, not only too much, I feel like you can't tell. And I got in some like light curtain bangs. Sorry, it's like super echoey as well. Um, but she was like, I recommend this shampoo, this conditioner. So I'm going to be buying those just for more hydrating, like really concentrated hydration. Um, and then a hydrating, uh, what's it called, a heat protectant. So I have actually been using for the first time the Color Wow product. So it is a Dream Coat uh, Supernatural Spray Spray. I do not know how to say that. Prodigy, Prodigy, Prodigy. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. So I want another heat protectant spray because it is and isn't one it's more for like anti-frizz it's got a little bit of heat humidity defying stuff so i've still been using my original heat protectant spray but i'm looking for a hydrating one but i have really liked this i have really liked that um i used it i've only used it once before so it'll be interesting to see i won't be able to really tell what the difference is when i'm using my dyson because that's a new whole thing all right, that's that. I need to grab a claw clip just to separate my hair in two. Just probably do it in two parts. And try and dry my hair to about 80%, like 80 to 90%. I'm going to try 80 because I can always do it a little bit more. Actually, that's not half of my hair, that's more like a third. My hair is so thick. So thick, but yes. Very much on the hair care, using the Color Wow, using, I've got a mask to show you guys. I really want to go do a video where I run through all the products that I'm now introducing um, to really up that hydration. I'm going to look at fixing my scalp because at the front here, I suffer from a little bit of uh, dryness, like specifically here. Um, so I'm looking into what can fix that. You know, I've been doing my, was doing my oils and since I moved, I haven't done them since. So I need to do that again. But onto the Dyson. Oh my god, it feels so fancy. So look at it. All right, so I'm gonna be going through with this brush, I think. Um, just trialing it, trial and error. Oh, I don't want any. Watch out for any like like paper on it. I don't want to be having paper from the packaging on it that's not meant to be on it whilst I'm using it because I don't want it to potentially get hot. So it is off when I'm turning it on the power. All right, so it's on the lowest setting and the lowest, it's on cold, I think. Yeah, it's on cold there, you can see. So let's pop it up to... Okay. 
So that's the lowest setting without any heat. Obviously it's done practically nothing. I just done like a tiny bit. So let's pop it up. I'm gonna pop it up a little bit into the heat, to the middle heat. And I'm gonna, okay. So that's the middle heat on the lowest setting. This is the middle setting. Oh my God. that because that is getting dry. I'm going to do a little bit to the bottom there because that's a little bit wet. Oh. If you get it, you get it. Oh my god, wow. Oh, the back's a bit wet so we'll just keep going because I'm getting this dry bit at the front. Are you meant to be using this brush? That's good. But I feel like the air is like only coming out the sides. I'm gonna go try on another attachment. We're gonna try this one because I've seen on the like the image that they showed, it was this one to dry. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have not watched enough videos. Okay, this is for drying. Yeah. Definitely more. That's what we want. I'm gonna do the rest of my head. Pray God I figure out how to do it. It's about 70%, I wanna say, dry. Um, I need to watch some videos on how to use, use it. Like I have and I haven't, so. There we go. All right, I'll check back in with you when it's done. Okay, okay, I think we've blow dried to about, if not 90%, the top of my hair is still quite wet, but I'm expecting as I do the bottom part, it will be, uh, it'll get drier. So I'm gonna get rid of this in a hair clip. We're gonna, oh, here's a little preview of like what I had cut off my hair. So very excited. Um, that was so preppy sounding. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is very dry. I reckon I need to put a little bit of water on it. Just to like make it a little bit more wet. Just at the front there. I'm still learning. We're gonna... There. I reckon that's better. Okay. So now we change over. I'm gonna turn that all the way down. Change that over, unlock. There we go. And I'm gonna be doing the big barrel. So this I think is the 40 millimeter. So there we go. So just to test with one set of warm air on the lowest setting. Okay. So that, I actually don't know which way that's gonna go. I'm gonna take this front piece, I reckon, and just trial. That is, I reckon, going the wrong way. How do I? There we go. Okay. Can we see that? I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can see it. not do that very well at all but this is the product 
Oh, I understand now why everyone goes, you're going to regret buying it until you can figure it out. Because <laughs> right now I'm like, what have I done? I need to buy that hydrating hair stuff. I'm going to try and get this to be right. So they're kind of just like, so this doesn't... soft blowout. It's blown out at the bottom there. We shall see. I will perfect this and I am determined to do it with you all. Okay, lowest setting, medium heat and on. All right, round and then we're going to go in. It's not a cold, that's not cold, it is cold. And then we get it off. <gasps> that's way better! Okay! That's way better! Look at that! <laughs> okay, okay. They're quite tight for what I'm used to, but we shall perfect. Maybe I will just have to, you know, keep trialing, keep trialing. All right, let's try them. So, medium heat or high heat. Let's try high heat this time. I feel bad. And then we're going to go one, the middle setting. We're going to wrap it around once. Go down a little bit and then go up. Go down. Come on. I want to go cold, stop. Let's see. Oh, okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. There, it's a bit random, but we're getting somewhere. What I might do is I might try the rest of the bottom by myself, and then I'll cut back to you maybe. And then out. Oh. from this first one which is like nothing to this <laughs> I gotta spray it I gotta spray it oh my god this is showing promise for my first ever go on a Dyson I haven't even trialed a Dyson at like a Dyson store or or even a Sephora or anything this is my this is my first go <laughs> Alright, just as like a comparison, I think think this first bit went really well. This one was a bit harder to do because like I had to reapply water and then the ends have kind of gone funny. So I've still definitely got some learning to do, but it really shows it can do it. Like, wow. So I'm going to do the top bits now. My hair is quite frizzy. It doesn't know how to feel to uh, being so blow dried. And I'm going to have to keep applying water because the front bits are very dry. So we are learning. We are learning. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to check back in. But look at the difference. Okay. I've just finished. I've just done my fringe bit. I feel... <laughs> I'm the lion from The Wizard of Oz. Oh my god. Whoa, okay. It's definitely needed to be 
brushed out and I need to like smooth the random bits. What it all? I've just because I've just curled the top. That's created an interesting kink. Something that I'm gonna have to try and work on. Interesting. I'm gonna have to probably. I'm just gonna straighten that bit out with like an actual straightener. Might just plug my the this one in the GHD. I need a new GHD hair straightener because my hair straightener is really bad. And this is like my family's one while I'm here. But that has created an interesting kink. Maybe I need to do less on my, like, less amount of hair on my fringe. But, um, I think it went well. For a first time ever using a Dyson, I don't know, I'm pretty happy. Okay, I'm going to spray it. The back is a little bit dry, a little bit wet, sorry. Have I missed any of the back? That is my, oh, have I totally missed that whole section? Yes, I've missed all that. So let's do a little bit of a zap there. I missed that bit as well. It's a learning curve. All right, so I've learned I want it on the highest fan force, the medium heat, and I start from the bottom and twirl it. Oh, I've turned it off. <laughs> I start, I start at the bottom and I twirl it on and then I kind of like jolt it up. Oop! You're around the wrong way, aren't you? What did I just do? Oh. Put it on. Kind of grab it, try and grab it all. Come on. Grab. Right. I'm on the highest heat now, you cannot see my mouth. Ow! Why are we stuck? Let's do this bit. Alright, are there any other bits that I have missed? I reckon this bit I need to... No, maybe it's not too bad. Hopefully, I've done it all. Obviously, you guys would be better telling if I haven't. I just think some of the bits have like flattened. All right, so I'm gonna hairspray. And then I'm gonna brush out. But just, can we just admire? Yeah, I'm the line. I'm the line from it was okay. And it's gone. What do we think? Do we like it? I don't mind it. I think it's going to take a bit of getting used to. That has done a weird curl. See? Yeah, I've got to figure out my fringe. But this is a nice blowout. Let's pop some oil in it. I'll go get my hair oil. But that is the back. It's definitely different than a um, a normal curl that I do. Yeah, my fringe has gone really weird. Look at that. It's gone like nice and up over here, but then like down and dented there, so we gotta figure that out. I've got a lot of videos to try and watch just to learn. Because especially like, I want it to be more like going through, it's not too bad. I think it's just, I'm not used to this kind of look as well. Let's pop some oil in it. So I'm just taking my Kerastase hair oil. So just a tiny, tiny drop. That's way too much, I accidentally did a little bit more. Just to give it that shine, and a little bit of weight, a little bit to the fringe bits. That's not too bad. 
definitely hasn't curled and it feels more like crazy right now than anything. It's got a nice like wave to it. I definitely need to do some watching. But that was fun. That's so cute. I don't know. It's definitely dry. It's definitely got volume to it. I just don't know if it's got that nice shape yet. So for now. comments what you think let me know if you have one and if you have any tips I would highly highly like one because I would love to keep learning how to use this and eventually get good enough that I can give you proper tips but at least for a first ever timer we've learned a few things along the way I love the color absolutely love it it is so pretty and just so girly <laughs> you know or just you know very feminine whatever you want it to be you know um, I absolutely, yeah, I'm really excited to keep using it. So I think for now, I'm going to pack everything away. I'm going out to a friend's place tonight. So, uh, for a party. So maybe in a little bit, I will, <laughs> I'm just going to wave this in front of my face, in front of the camera. Boop, boop. Um, get ready for that. All right. Well, it's, it's hard because I'm now I'm just like, well, I want to keep perfecting it. It's like, well, I can't dry my hair any more than it is. And I can't wash it again and keep drying and washing. I just, every time, I think I'm going to honestly use it every single time I wash my hair until I get it, like, until I get more confident in it and just building on that. But they say it takes up to six months, so you never know. I will definitely look at investing in that hydrating, uh, heat protectant spray and a hydrating shampoo and conditioner better than my currently existing one because I just with using probably this much amount of air and probably hate a lot more than I would traditionally oh no that's not true I would fully blow dry my hair and style it with a heat curler I think I just want to up the anti on the um, moisture that's going on my hair so hello everybody it's a little while later it's actually a few like a week later, um, I ended up going to my friend's party and it was fun. I didn't film anything because I was ended up running late. So, but I thought I'd just round out this vlog um, with an unboxing of this, which is the Dyson like travel case for the Dyson air wrap. Um, so, oh, it's I have not opened this, I've only taken like the out there was an outer layer of the package uh, packaging on this as well. But I think. What is annoying is I'm pretty sure it's not the same colour, like combo, as the actual Dyson case. So this is a lovely like black charcoal colour with the pink. And I'm pretty sure from memory this is like orange and black. So yeah. Ingredients. Pretty sure it was just a standard one. And it folds out like, underneath there. Magnetic top. There you go. Ta da! So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the whole product. Oh, it's also got a little pocket in there. So, magnetic as well, that's great. But yeah, in case you want to take your Dyson Air Wrap travelling, it's kind of a good idea. Um, there wasn't much else at the end of this vlog or this video so please like and subscribe if you like it and if you definitely want to see more Dyson Airwrap tutorials how I'm learning to do it because I have obviously never used it before so like not even at a trial so I'm very excited to learn along with you guys so love you all and I'll see you later bye